So hello, hello, and how are you? This is Jolene with the Jewel Design, and I am dying to work on this little mini cover for one of the signatures in my vintage flip-flop Christmas journal. Um, if you've been watching me, this is an ongoing project. And I was just working on stuff. I've worked on cards and all kinds of other little goodies, and I thought I'd jump in and just chat with you real quick and let you know what was going on and, I don't know, little stuff. But I was if you saw me on Instagram last night, I was working on little things like this. I needed new, I needed some tags, and that's actually part of one of my collage pages. So I just put some fussy cuts on it. Um, what else did we do? Oh yeah, finished the top of that finally. Um, what else did we do? I had to do a lot of refinishing. Um, after my last video, I realized all my stuff was sticking out, which was bad. Um, as you can see, it's all nice and cleanly in place, but it was sticking out everywhere. And I realized that Lorette's, um, her, um, Marie Antoinette wasn't, um, it was perfectly inside itself, gorgeously decorated, but everything fit inside. It could be fluffy, but everything fit inside. And I about died. You saw me finish all kinds of great pages last week and I didn't yeah it was bad so i fixed it it's all good if you watch me on instagram you'll see a lot of those pictures i do then have a duplicate over to facebook but it's mine and not a dual design and stupid flaw in the update one of the instagram facebook issues so anyway this is the back signature the fourth uh, the third large signature um that is on the back side last flip and it has this sort of ab abstract cover and it's plain and I'm like, I can't just do green. It's pretty on the inside, but nothing on the outside. Oh, that was not dry. Huh. Well, no, oh yeah, everything had to work. Oh my gosh. I am putting puppy paint and glitter and stuff on everything. So hold on one second. So sorry. Hey, Google volume two. I do have music in the background, but cause I can't help myself, but I realized it was getting a little loud. Made another one pretty there. So I don't know. I thought it, it all, it stuck. I didn't realize it wasn't dry. That's okay. That's not a big deal. So anyway, we have a cover on this one uh, that we need to work on before I work out the bugs and work on the big front cover. Oh my gosh, I think that's my next big thing. But as you can see, I'm sort of thinking about collaging some cards. Um, this is was striped paper that came from the Christmas at Your Door kit, I believe. And on the inside, which I'll show you when we're done, is some collaged pages um, of Christmas at Your Door, sort of to cover that page. And so I wanted to do a sort of a cluster of things. I'm going to put some lace down here and then we're going to do a strip of glitter. So I just thought I'd jump on and let you follow along and say hi and um, see how your first week of November went. Oh my gosh, technically it was almost a full week of November, right? Um, only one day of, of, Octo you know, of October. And uh, it was a good weekend. We got some rain. Um, we're supposed to get some more, I think, on Tuesday. So this will air, I think, Monday morning real quick with you guys. Um, if I get it up and running, I just realized that. I'm like, hmm, it's sort of late Sunday night I'm doing this. So the color's a little off. It is because it's a little later in the evening for me. And I don't feel like being in bright, bright light right now. So you'll have to forgive me. I am working cl the, as close as I can to the lamp in question. So that way, hopefully that, there aren't too many shadows. And I am sort of gluing some pieces on where I think I want them, um, only so that I don't lose too much of the arrangement. As you, Like I said, I always have the hardest time. I get it all perfect, and I start picking it up to glue it, and I go, mm. So I notice that if I just sort of glue sections of what I want together, then I sort of don't lose, like, the setup to a point, as it is I'm moving stuff around as I go. It's like eek. But I did um this weekend did not get all the shopping I wanted done. I was I did, with the with the rain came some headaches, which isn't normal for me, but it happens on occasion. And uh, so I got my nails done, as you can see. I'm all uh, more fall. Um, what is it? Fall Thanksgiving ish. Um, no rings on right now because my hands are too cold. Everything wants to slip off. I'm like, never mind. I did not mean to fully glue that one. Eek. I think I want to do that. I am gluing it down where it's going to be tucked under the lace. I just have to decide exactly where. Let's see where I'm going to put it. I made no, no choice. I started gluing. Eek. 
downside with glitter glue, you only have so much time before it does, you know, won't forgive you. So we'll make do. We're going to glue as we go, which I don't mind too much. Uh, but yeah, I thought I was doing really good on my journal. I was getting going and then I think it was Friday. No, it wasn't Friday. Oh, maybe. No, Wednesday or Thursday. I realized I was done with you guys. I was making all my, or Wednesday. I don't know what day it was. Maybe it was Wednesday. Wednesday, because I think I finished one of my, my Friday video. And I realized, yep, um, Houston, we have a problem. So yeah, that was fun. All that pretty work I did with you guys, all those pockets and edges, and I did more when I was finished and off camera, and then I, yeah, went to stick everything in place to see how we were doing and realized it was all sticking out. Oh my gosh, that was just so frustrating. So, I don't know what, I don't know what day that was. I'm sort of confused now, because I know I did it finally, I think Wednesday is the day I fixed it all. I think I just sat down Wednesday and fixed it all. But you guys had a Tuesday, Friday video or whatever, Tuesday, Thursday video. and oh, oh, well, it is what it is. It's all good. It's all fixed. Anything can be fixed, as Gail says. And I know it. 507. Oh, Willoughby or whatever it is. She just if she doesn't like it. Rips it out. Tries again. Luckily, nothing was sewn in. I could pull it all out, trim it, try to sh augment it. I tried to fold some things really interestingly. That actually came out pretty cute. I like it with the background. And then we're going to put some lace over it, and we're going to put a strip of glitter over that. I'm all stoked. Um, yeah. Okay. I don't know whether I'll wrap the lace all the way around. Maybe I will, so the back side has a little something. That's not a bad idea. I'm so happy with my sugar bottle. Oh my gosh, people. It's such a difference. Oh, so glad. And how was your first week in November? How's everybody's weather? Um, I saw Amy at Crafty Cat hair for snow. Uh, we got rain. We're getting more. Uh, I don't know what everybody's doing with it. We got anything back east worse than that? I mean, I guess first snow in November. Man, that, I don't know why that seems so early to me. But it's probably totally normal. Like, I don't, I would assume so, I guess. I don't know. Amy, you'll have to, I don't know if you watch my, I don't know if you watch mine anymore. You're such a busy lady. Um, tell me that's normal to have snow in, snow in November. First of November, like beginning of November. But we did. We dropped considerably. And, like, um, we are, what, going to be high 50s tomorrow and for Monday. And, like, Tuesday is supposed to be, I think it's going to go all the way around with it, ladies and gentlemen. And I'll trim it off. Um, and Tuesday, we're, you know, our next big rainstorm is supposed to be dropped down to 53 degrees during the day. We'll be lucky. I got my chimney all swept out and clean, which was awesome. So it's burning better. Thank God, because, that, yeah, that's it's on right now so that the house stays somewhat warm. The only thing I haven't done is gotten my heater vent. Uh, heater vents got cleaned out. I was a good girl that this weekend. Didn't change my 9-volt batteries for my fire alarms and did not get the heater vent, like, output um, filter done. Like I said, had a hard time shopping this weekend. Did not get anything I wanted to get done when I was supposed to get it done. Had a good weekend, though. I mean, I got to hang out. We got to hang out with my best friend and her kids on Friday. We all went to dinner, local place in town, and we got me and my, you know, I got my nails done. My girls got their nails done. Her nails, yeah, I got my toes done. It's funny. My toes are blue. They look like they're ready for Christmas. They're ready for winter, but my fingers are still fall. I know. I, I do this every time. I get them done, and then I go do crafts. Ugh. But what can I do? But I love them. They're a little smidge shorter than Halloween. Just a smidge. <laughs> She still didn't quite take enough down. I will probably have to keep filing on them just a little bit to get through. Otherwise, I'm going to have to go really short with Christmas and holidays. Well, isn't that just cute? And I'm not done. I'm addicted to a new style, a new technique. I'm sort of sharing. Now, I was debating on... No, we're going to do red on this one. I'm going to do red on the bottom. Because we have so much green, I think we need more red. So, we were going to do a little trick here. I don't know how much I want to share. Um, right in the middle? Yeah, we'll do right in the middle. I don't know. I don't remember who showed her. But then someone showed with me. And I can't wait. I'm like, oh my gosh. Double-sided tape and some glitter. Let's see. I did it a couple times inside. I think it's going to be my new trick. I'm going to overdo it. Watch. But it's such a cute trick. Oh my gosh. Oops, I'm off camera. Sorry, guys. And then I have to, oh, I left her card inside. 
I don't remember her name right now. Um, well, I'll do it on my next one. But yes, I'll show it off. But I ha I mean, I have to put it in the description who made it for me. But I got a cute little, my first sort of happy mail, I guess. And um, she sent it to my mom. Because I don't think she realized I hadn't didn't have my, my address. Because I haven't bought anything from her yet. And, um, and uh, anyway, she made me a cute little book. And she made me some handmade... Um, handmade that's a little messier on the lace I didn't think about that handmade soap, so I'm stoked to use that I'm not really big at hand, hand soap, like bar soap, but once in a while I get this bug and so I'm really stoked because it was handmade and it's it's cool because it's one of those things where you take a chunk of the bar, like it's one of those it's definitely handmade, which is awesome anyway I will look it up. I cannot think of her name right now to save my life. It's too late for me to be doing that, but I can always show it off. But I want to say thank you so much. I don't know if she watches my show. I know she watches Lorette's. But, ugh, it was super sweet to send me something. Okay, I don't know if I got it all or not. I promise I did all that, right? And then I can go and get more. Cute little trick. I don't know, ladies and gentlemen. I am in love with this because I love glitter, but, oh my gosh, having to do the whole glitter glue thing streaks of glitter and wait for it to dry and oh my gosh I don't know but look at that oh isn't that just adorable I would go way to the back but I don't know if I really want to get it all over here and have to try to let it dry so I think the back's just gonna have a little bit of lace and then the inside is this one this was the where I collaged and tweaked pages and made one fit in the other but I had to trim all of this I even had I had pretty green stuff down the side and I had to trim it off when I realized all my sizes were too wide even this even this cover even this cover was too wide. I don't know why. My first signature was perfect. I had like almost exact correct size. And then I got crazy. I forgot what I was doing and I just kept making it bigger and bigger and forgetting it's not your standard, you know, um, journal. As you see, I have a mess. I'll try not to take too long doing this. But thank you all uh, for showing and sharing over in a Crafters of a Jewel Design. Um, it is temper or, uh, what's the word? It is um, a place to share your crafting moments um, when you happen to happen to use uh, a piece or a part or all of one of my journal kits. It is a private Facebook group, um, you know, sponsored by uh, Jolene, Jolene Burt slash uh, Jewel Design. Sort of one follows the other, I guess. <sighs> so annoying. Um, and uh, so Dawn has been showing all her lovely fall things as we're finishing up the season. It's great. Uh, Rod, Rodda. Rod Rodna? Rodna? I'm totally not sharing your name. I'm so sorry, honey. But Rodna6666 on YouTube um, is also working on the shabby vintage, um, shabby Victorian winter. She's making an awesome album book type thing. Um, while Lorette is working on, of course, the flip flop journal. So we have some stuff going on right now, which is wonderful. I do have a sale right now on all my, all my, almost all my digitals. A couple of single page items I do not have on sale. They're just so inexpensive and the fees just don't allow it. Ugh, it's not going to work. You know, it's on, like I might as well give it away for free at that point. Um, but right now till the 12th of November, um, you have another week here. We have my dig all my digitals, including all the holiday ones are all on sale, which is awesome. And then, look at that, guys. Oh, my gosh, that worked out so beautifully. I had to show you, like, nothing much, just a little something, some words, some cards, on a background, rounded corners, and it does overlay the next page on purpose, so you see a little, even a little bit more, so it does expand on the cover. And that side is open. So we got the sale going for right now, sort of my Black Friday thing. Um, I probably will do Black Friday on my journals um, for whatever hasn't sold this year. I'll do something for the Black Friday, you know, weekend. But you guys need the digitals now to create all these fun things with. So we're going to put them on sale now so you get your craft on. And if you don't already have it and you've been favoring it, this is the time to get it. Get a little, get a little discount going on that. All right, so we got the big pretty one in there. That's writing. That's decorated. This I had to completely remember. I just had it on. I had it just on this. With this over it, I had to take, cut it off, glue it back on. So now it's one whole piece. It's decorated just like that. Um, this one. Oh, you watched me do it, right? Mm. These are supposed to flip down. They annoy me. I ended up gluing the sides. Put some trim and glitter there. The 24. Oh, that one's cute too. The 24 that ended up here got trimmed down to barely a 2. 
So I just put this guy up here, even another pocket here. The back is okay. I had to trim in on the corner. I almost lost the word joy on that one. <sighs> yeah, a little bit. But I put one of my, um, not one of mine, but one of the little guys I'd made, little music sheet in there. And then the other half of that vellum ended up being just decorative, um, sort of a doily on the vellum, short, you know, for something fun. This one, luckily, I didn't have to touch. I was like, thank God. And even the folded page, I think, were okay. Like, I, even the folded page, I didn't have to mess with. So, yeah, I got lucky on some of this. I had to trim this down a little bit, but nothing too extravagant that we couldn't work it. So, there we go. Isn't that adorable? Oh, we're getting there. We're almost there, ladies and gentlemen. We're almost there. So, this goes in the back one. This is that last back flip. There's the back of the book. You put this in here. Ta-da. Is that coming up? A little bit. So, that one's going to go in here. And it's going to have a fabric binding that one. These guys are going to have lace on theirs. Because as you can see, it's starting to give over time. So, I definitely want to sew it in and get those bits of lace covering it. Because I think they're all, everything is starting to give a little bit. Hot, cold, hot, cold, and constant. Um, hmm. And constant movement. Oh my gosh, that's scary. You cover the pages, but we definitely, um, you know, it gets moved around a lot. It gets open and closed a lot. So yeah, I definitely need, I definitely need lace over this sucker. And then the front is done. I'm really, well, not done. The front books are all done. So I'm all stoked about that. Oh my gosh, hold on, sorry. I'm trying to get this in there. So. Um, yeah, this is, you know, totally done. This little guy, whoops, I'm off camera. Um, yeah, so they, I saw the decorate, but here you have your little mini, went ahead and, you know, did that. Uh, got cards in there, I don't think anything too much. We have the lace, it's all sewn in. And then I tied the front, isn't that cute? We tied the front so that all I had to do was open it, look on the inside. This sticks up just a smidge, it's the only thing that sticks out just a little bit. But it has all its pieces, and I'm missing the card. I think. You know what? I'm, I thought I had one in there. Maybe I don't. I thought I had one in there. Hmm. I have to look to see if I lost it. I took it to my mom's to show it off, and I don't know where it went. Maybe I didn't have one. I don't know. That's sort of funny, right? You don't notice until you're showing it off. My paper clip here keeps coming off. I have to try to tighten that a little bit. Hmm. One there. I might not because it was just so tight back there. I might not have. No, I had one there. <laughs> I'll have to find a little something to put in there because I have other little pieces, so why not? But there we go. I just tie it up and it's all good to go. And then that just sort of helps keep this all together because it is, you know, um, it is a fluffy little, fluffy little bunny. And it's alright. So just a cute little tie. But yeah, I cannot. I'm almost, I think I'm almost done. I'm going to go through each one one more time. Make sure there's nothing I need to do so that I can sew these in. And yeah, if I want to keep decorating the pages, I can. But my biggest thing was getting this one decorated before I sewed it in. Because I didn't want to take chances there. And I don't I think anything else I need to do. I just want to make sure if I don't want to do any more glitter, that I can take those pages out. So same thing. Extend to that. This one was done. So I had to really maneuver this one because I didn't want to redo this one. That was so much fun. I love this thing. It's so cute. Got it. So I had, up, I had a tab on a page. I had to take it off. Add it in the middle. So some tabs on the inside, which is sort of cute to remind you that you need to open it up. You know, when that one opens to write on it. So, oh, there we go. Oh, that's the last one. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So just a quick little thing I wanted to show you the cover, you know, that I was working on. A couple little, hey, if you watched last week. Had to make some changes. There will be, I guess, a full flip through top to bottom when I'm absolutely positively done. I don't know if I'll do another video or not. Um, I've got like some plaques and some uh, flour to put on here and some hardware maybe. I've got to still put some rickrack or something on here. But I think if I put too much more, it's just going to get all squishy. So something here, something here. And I don't know, I might be, oh, I and I have my charms and beads to do here. So I'm almost done, ladies and gentlemen, I think. I think, I think, I think. I say that and then I, I find some page I was supposed to work on, right? Something I forgot about. 
I feel like some things still need to be worked on, but I don't know. My my cards and my stuff are pretty decorative, so I don't know if I want to add like glitter and lace and goo and and doohickeys to them. But I have ribbon. I have I have stuff. I don't know. I could I could do what I think I did for this and add some more stuff. I guess you have to let me know if you think I should actually add something to my journal, like my journal pages. I mean, my journal cards. Do I decorate them even more, or do I leave them flat so they make it really easy for you guys to write on? So I get decorative on them, then you can't really flip them over and write on the back of them. You know, this one was a mess, and I had to do some washi tape. Now, that is a wa glittery washi tape. Glue that sucker down and went for it. This one had to be you know, tucked in. This is tucked in. Oh, I do have one more place. See, I knew there was more. I have to put something in here. I think I need to make a um, a funny a fun journal card for that. So there's that because I didn't want to mess with that one. I did change out the um, card though. I did change the card. Was able to re-glue this and keep it going. This one ended up inside another tuck, but that one's really short, so I may not put anything in that one. So I'm almost done, and I have no cards in here. So I need to make some like I need to almost make a scrapbook or scrappy. Saturday. Oh, and I have this too. So yeah, I, I had to make some ephemera. And then maybe those new pieces of ephemera that I make will be a little more decorative. And the things that are part of the journal kit, we can just leave them as they are. So see, almost done. Not quite. So I'm going to make some fun ephemera. I mean, all that cutting left me with all kinds of fun strips of stuff. Oh my gosh. From vellum to whatever. So maybe I will make some woven stripped uh, journal cards back in with some stuff. Still have a pretty piece of fabric left, so I don't know where that's going to go yet. That might get, be given away, so thank you. We were supposed to do a scrap book envelope, so we'll see if we get to that. But there you go. I don't know. A lot of little things, ladies and gentlemen. But I do have some more stuff to make, make some stuff to fill in a few more pockets and tucks, some gems, some decorative stuff on the front. And we might just get the sucker done real soon so I can get it out to you guys. But we're almost there where I feel I can sew it in. And then we can really flip through this and see what it looks like as an actual look, flip, look, flip, look, flip, and not worry about dropping it out. So thank you all for coming along for a quick little Monday morning um, ordeal. This was our newest little project that I worked on really quickly with you guys. Just wanted to check in and say hi. Hope everybody's going, going, I hope everything is going well. Everybody's healthy, happy, staying warm and dry, enjoying whatever new season that has come upon them all of a sudden. And um, thank you so much, all of you, for liking, loving, like, liking, loving, commenting, subscribing, and notifications, because it keeps us going. And I really do appreciate the uptake in numbers and viewing. Um, it has made me happy, and I'm, I'm so glad we found found a lovely little niche. And we're almost done with this, and there will be this week also um, a reveal of a new kit. Uh, maybe not on my channel, but maybe on Lorette's channel, but... Um, new pink shabby editions coming out. So I am working on digitals too. So thank you again so much. All of you have a wonderful week and we will see you very soon. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.